Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGut21, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars, that's the Old Republic. Last time. Did some time talking to the various party members of the team. And learned that, uh, Kandris has, a uh, storied past of various mercenary exploits, which is for better times. Karf doesn't trust anyone. Bastila is very easy to rile up. Juhani is just sad. Zalbar won't tell us shit. T3 doesn't want to talk at all. And Mission has a brother. Fantastic. After that, we did some exploring on the ship and found a little stowaway. It was a little girl named Sasha that speaks broken Mandalorian. And we're kind of at an impasse when it comes to that. Great. Anyway, we landed here on Tatooine in the city of Anchorhead. I think it's Anchorhead. Ah, uh, oh, well, whatever. Point is, we're now on Tatooine. And we got HK47 as a new party member. Hooray! Of course, we also ran to three Dark Jedi and killed them, and uh, one of them decided to give me his robes. And I like this color better. Anyway. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. HK. See, why do you have strength? Wait a minute, can you even use melee weapons? No, you can't. So why do you have strength? Uh, ignore it. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. I don't know why you would give a dro He's a combat droid, so having strength makes sense, but you can't equip him melee weapons. That's the problem here. Seriously, I have melee weapons. He could probably use them, but he doesn't. Instead, he uses a blaster rifle. <sighs> Other than his attributes being fucked up, what do you have as feats? You've got, uh, you're specializing in blaster rifles, okay. You already have tactician logic upgrade, and you have power blast. Fair enough. HK, let's level you up. And as a droid... You don't have as much skill points as T3, so your ability to do anything... As well as he can is kind of uh, pathetic, but I prefer having AHK over T3 any day. Higher repair skill because that in that improves the repair kits. Droid upgrade class two attributes. The game will recommends Constitution. Why does the game recommend Constitution? You're a range character. I guess you get melee, you're kind of screwed, but... Dexterity. We want better rolls with the blaster. You don't get many feats, though. That's annoying. Alright, we got the 12. Finally. Oh, the Arya has toughness. Nice. And you can't use implants, so that doesn't matter. Hmm. I could also make him focus with heavy weapons and pistols if I wanted. But no, let's give him improve. Yeah, improve power blast. That way he can get master power blast. Now he's on par with the rest of the team. Let's just give him a computer probe. Uh. Droid motion sensors type 1. We don't have any utility slots. Shield disruptor. And a stun ray, I guess. Droid light plating type 2. And energy shield level 1. Do we have a better blaster rifle? We can give him Zalbar's bowcaster. Blaster Carbine. Wait, what's the difference between that and a regular rifle? 25, 19, 20 times 2, 1 to 8. It has shorter range. What the fuck? Um, yeah. You can use the Bowcaster. 
that is hilarious. Huh? Sure. Anyway, let's heal ourselves. Goodbye, Yukalaka. You survive for now. Yeah, the city is Anchorhead. Okay, now that I'm not in a hurry, we can explore this place proper. We have the Dune Sea. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Hmm. That's different. I put a little bit of uh, cocoa powder in my coffee today. Hmm. Probably need to add some milk to make it sweeter. Let's see. Ah. Let's try this again. Dune C, Cantina, Soup Registration, Zerka Office, Hunting Lodge. Okay, let's start all the way. Probably faster to do this. And right, just run all the way back. Goodbye, customs officer. Oh yeah, we also got Gizka running around on the fucking ship. That's fantastic. Okay, hunting lodge is first. That way we can gain some money. Sharina Fazak. I'll talk to you in a minute. Oh boy, you all have names. What are you people doing here? Well, anything out of the ordinary happening these days. Do you know anything more local? I got some questions about hunting. Why do I need a license? Well, what is there to hunt on Tatooine? The dragons are rare then. What was so special about Komad's father? Well, where can I find Komad? I have to go. Well, 
Well, it looks like we're gonna have to be going to the fucking uh, Zerka office. Great. I want to deal with them scumbags. Oh boy. Anyway, we are gonna be hunting down a crate dragon, believe it or not. And I'm not going to sell him the pearls. Because crate dragon pearls can actually be used in lightsabers, if I'm remembering correctly. And a crate dragon pearl is one of the best lightsaber crystals to have. Sandcrawler mechanic. Why are you dressed in a circuit uniform? Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please make it quick. Oh, fine, you're gonna be like that. Goodbye, sir. Alright then, back to work, I guess. Asshole. Circa office. Sharina Fazark. Let me speak to you. Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Nothing left. Oh, what do you need? I'm Ray Navarre. I'll help if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Why do you need the money? We spent everything on my husband's hunting gear. We hoped that the sport would support us. We hoped. Whoever killed him took everything. All I have left is this desert raid plate. We thought we were so lucky when he brought it home. If I could sell it, the kids and I could get out of here. Maybe buy a passage to Coruscant? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I have to go now. Sorry. Please. Will no one help? We need the credits. We have nothing. Well, here's the thing. I don't have a license, so I can't really sell it. That's the problem. The game won't let me. Might as well sort this out with Zerka. The greedy scumbag assholes. Well, what's going on here? Who are you? Kuyami Chuskuna Chitanai. Ina Kunba Marulira Rachikun. Slimo Patona. Mundi Hadonga Chihonkabi. La Boda Ni Winkis Matoma. Wana Kun Bes Chingpa Marulira. Tok Chingbang Non Kick. Tok Ninja Murira Rabes. Murira Bes. That was interesting. Greedo Holda. This office is certainly small. Well, what do you have for purchase, sir? Chiwi Aita Katong Chicha Agi Inko Tune Chuna Muli Ra Tangi Wama Jikona Tonk Ipa Nonku Nek Abog. I swear, they have a track of the alien language for a certain species, or character, and just have it play on repeat. Cyber Powered battle armor. You sell power armor. Mandalorian heavy pistol, holdout blasters, thermal detonators. I like how they're a separate grenade, even though they technically are grenades. Oh, whatever. Motion detection goggles. Eh. So I guess you're the one I need to talk to about licenses, protocol officer? Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Well, look for you, I want to ask about hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. There have been a lot of people leaving this city as of late. With the downturn in mining, people want any chance at credits they can get. Most wouldn't survive a day, let alone qualify as hunters. The last license issued before the ban was given to a woman named Marlena Venn. She'll do fine. She had a mean streak a parsec wide. She also paid double. Exceptions like this are rare. 
unless it suits the company to offer them. Why would I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. We live on foot. This is Tatooine. There's moisture farmers. People live in the sand dunes for fuck's sake. And you and you're not responsible for This is Tatooine. Loss of life is expected on a desert planet. So there's no way to get a license then. Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Why pay for the gaffy sticks when out their heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. I'll agree to your uh, conditions. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. I'll go get to it then. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Oh, how I wish I could collapse your entire business on itself. But I'll have to keep deal with sabotaging you on every planet I come across. I don't like Zerka. Is this about Zerka wanting the sand people chieftain killed? Well, the Zerka said that the sand people attacked first. What would you suggest then? I'll deal with the matter as I see fit. Well, lucky for us, we do have a true translation droid. It's HK! <laughs> oh boy. Sand people. Zorka Corporation allow you to enter the dune seal on the condition that you stop the sand people raids, bringing the Jeetan's Gaffney stick as proof, and they only conser conservation list. This is a better way to stop the conflict with a sophisticated translation droid could be taken on the task. The problem is, I don't even know where that fucking Duros asshole even went. Jawa! You come, we go, we scavenge. You come back, you go, we scavenge. Oh, Jawas, why do you have to be so cute and adorable and very fun to kill? I think it's because of the hoods. We don't see what their actual heads look like. Ah, swoop brag racing, huh? I need to make some money, so who do I talk to? 
I'm assuming the hut. Well, I'm just looking for information. Can you help me? Well, I've raced on Terrace, so I'm the one that opened the season opener there. And my own bike stored on my ship. I don't need to pay the fee. What sort of business do you need help with? Why won't he sign? Rundi Hautonga Tong Kimba Nang Kongkek Wana Kumbes Chimpa Yamuri Kunun Kabi Tukmen Tangjo Kunne Muli Rabes Labuda Narinkis Matoma Inkin Slimma Podona Muli Rachi Kun Nova Rundi Hautonga Kung Kabi Rundi Hautonga Tong Kimba Nang Kongkek Wana Kumbes Chimpa Yamuri Kunun Kabi Tukmen Tangjo Kunne Muli Rabes I'll see what I can do. Just set me up with a race. Labuda na rinkis matoma. Inkin slimma podona mulera chikun. Nova runde hatunga kunkavi. Uh, here's your hundred credits. Rundi Hautonga Tong Kimba Nang Kongkek. Wana Kumbes Chimpa Yamuri Kunun Kabi. Tuk Nen Tangjo Kunne Muli Rabes. Chupa Kacho Nagarn Totris Titoki Yumabogra. Chikuto Kano Pala Titoki Kratuk. Tangutima, Labuda na rinkis matoma. Inkin slimma podona mulera chikun. Nova runde hatunga kunkabi. Alright, let's see how we do in the good old tattooing swoop racing. Three 
3.07. Did I beat the time? Talk about the rewards for racing. La Bola na Rinkis Matoma Inkin Slimo Podona Mulera Chikun Nova Runde Hatunga Kunkavi. Explain what the different tiers are. Rundi Hatunga Tonkimba Nan Kunkek Wana Kundis Chimpayamul Kunkavi. Tukmentangjo,ku'nemulirabes, <laughs> Rundi Hautonga Tonkimba Nan Konkek Wana Kumbes Chimpayamul Kununkabi Tukmen Tangjo Kunemulirabes Ah, shut up, you slimy slug. Anyway. Too bad about Garm's time being beat. But he's just starting out. You're looking like you've been at this a while. Uh, not really. Track coordinator. Chiwi ai a ka chong ji cha. Agi u. No thanks. Goodbye. What are the racing bonds for? I uh, probably need to ch talk to the HUD about that. You fed on Delva. Mori feed on Delva. Uri tooth blood find the good Delva. Mori feed on Delva. Just answer my questions, I'll leave you alone. Well, I have to leave. Goodbye. Well, fuck you. You're gonna be rude. I'm not gonna bother listening to you uh, spiel over and over again, you fucking asshole. Nico! Oh, hi. You another racer, then? I heard someone new was talking to Mata. Always room for more, I guess. Don't know how much longer I'll be around here. But maybe we'll have time for a few races. I talked to Moda about you. Did you? I'm not sure that's any of your business. Top racers keep to their own. I don't know you. Maybe if you were better on the track, I might feel like talking about it. Someone who can turn out the fast times might understand. Do you know where the best place to get bike upgrades around here? If there's anything around, it'll be at the Zerka store in their office in the center of town. Stock is scarce on this rock. What's racing pay? Mata has some basic incentives for good times, which you probably know, but this is just an amateur track. The pro circuit is where the real credits are, but even that is hurting. I guess a lot of riders were on Terrace. Hurried up, all right. Goodbye. All right, see you around the track. Well, we can't talk to him about signing onto the hunt until we enter the pro circuit. That's fun. I'm guessing everyone else in here is a swoop bike racer, so I'm not even gonna bother. So I'm just gonna leave for now and come back. Well, let's see. Uh, we can enter the cantina if we want. Probably gotta do that last because I'm going to buy that stupid ray. Stupid head off of this woman. Now that I actually have a license. 
Is my door open? You, please. Have you reconsidered? Very I must sell this desert raid plate, but I have no license. Can you help? I want to ask about your husband's death. I still can't believe he's gone. What do you want to know? Who was he? Tell me about him. His name is... was Ward Fizark. He used to work in the mines, but they scaled back last year. He was new to hunting, but he was a good fighter. He used to be a soldier. We spent everything on his gear. After a few trips, he didn't come back. Guards say his sandcrawler crew found his body stripped of everything. Any leads on who killed him? Nobody saw anything, and most of the other hunters never even knew him. It just started. I don't trust any of them. But those Gamorians, they just laugh when they see me. I think they did it. So you aren't looking for vengeance? It doesn't matter. There's no justice on Tatooine. I don't care what happens to them. I just need credits. I've got to think about my family, not those vicious pigs. She's right. Let's talk about the dude with the split. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. Perhaps I will buy it from you. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. Oh. Oh. Fine. I'll pay that, and here's an extra 200. Have good luck on Coruscant or wherever you're going. 700 credits! Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I just don't. What was that all about? Are you going soft on me? For whatever it means, may the Force be with you. You saved us. <sighs> Curse my bleeding heart. Ah, don't worry, Candorous. I may have lost 700 credits, but we're going to be gaining that all back. Because I got a feeling, when we leave the city, we're going to be ambushed by those Gamorrean dickbags. Now, if I had a car of Ambassador with him, they probably would have said, Great job! Although, I imagine if I had Basil with me, me using Force Persuade on every motherfucker I come across would, rarely, would probably get on her nerves. Actually, now I think about it. HK, we're only going to need you for when we actually leave the city, so welcome back, Bastila. Let's enter the, enter the cantina. Actually, no. Mm. Oh, I wish I had more party member slots. <sighs> Wait, do force powers even work on droids? Yes, they do. That's interesting to know. <laughs> well, all right then. Let's check the cantina. What's in here? Acknowledgement. Oh, great. Edgar Ohio scum and villainy. You could just smell. You could practically taste the vapor in the air. Circa officer, Circa merchant officer, Gandroff, Berko Nellis, Jawa server. Jawa's everywhere. I pulled out the stat. I mean, of course they're gonna be everywhere. An Thorian patron? I don't know why he's here. I have enough to worry about with my mining quotas. I don't have time for you. Well, fuck you too, asshole. We that are taken. Some of your people missing. Query. Is the miniature organic implying falsehood? Shall I blast it, master? Okay. I need to find a Jawa named Iziz. Or Izzy. Gendroff, you have a name. 
You probably play a Bazaar. Well now, what can Gandraf do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. I saw you down near the track, didn't I? Or, or, or was that someone else? I've been distracted by what happened in Paris. How was that matters? Yes, can I ask you a question or two? Sure, not a problem. Might as well try to pass along some of what I know. <laughs> My racing days are pretty much done. I'm looking for something. Who knows the planet best? Mask me again in a few years and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going back out on the circuit. There is one. Yeah, but for now, for now, I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. You should try the locals. Chow is maybe a funny little guy. Well, I might as well ask you about you and racing. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. Gandroff is the name. How long did you race for? Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Some of them are too young. Why do you think that? It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a has-been, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. Is this the best place for racing? The best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. It's that simple. You get hung up on any one track and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> My favorite stop was Taris. Taris. I always look forward to going back. Now, now I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I still race for sport, you know. What made Taris any different than here? A woman. I never won on Taris, but it was almost my first stop on the circuit, and the last if I could help it. That doesn't matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole planet being gone. <laughs> Poof, boom, gone. Well, technically the planet's not gone, it's just that most of the buildings and infrastructure is now rubble. All right, then. Uh, keep safe. Yep, yep, seems like tough times are coming. Great. A drunk who is way past his prime and drinking his sorrows away. So in order to progress, we need to find a Jawa named Izzis. That sounds doable, but first things first. More racing! <sighs> I can't help it. Depending on the, um... Franchise, racing games are one of my, some of my favorites. And I say depending on the franchise, because some of them can go suck a dick. Talk about soup racing. La boda na winkies matona. Yinkin slimma podona mulera chikun. No va rumbi hadonga kuhunkabi. Send me over the race. La boda na winkies matona. Yinkin slimma podona mulera chikun. No va rumbi hadonga kuhunkabi. Here's your hundred credits. Rundi haudonga tonkimba nankonkek. Wanna kumbes chimpayamuri kunhunkabi. Tuknen tanjo kunne mulirabes ka juvayo kulawish tu chungu atakuchu. Yukarel gratuk bograuna. Bograti toki gratuk.
Sorry about that. Went to go refill my coffee. We'll see if that shot of milk made it better. Mm hmm. Much better. I can actually taste the dark chocolate cocoa this time. What are racing bonds? Rundi hautonga ton kimba nan konkek. Wana kundes chimpa yamui kunun kabi. Tuk men tanjo kunne muli rabes la goda na rinkies matona. Inkin slimo podona muli rachi kun. No la rundi hautonga kun kabi. I made the needle. Yeah. I may need to look up who pays the most for racing bonds. Well, shut up, you slimy you sleazeball. Just let me open another race. Yeah, yeah. Rundi ik chawa tongo la joni ku. Yo mawa mani boba, Lord I wish wanga shachi. Moto da hot. Okay, so once I get less than 23 seconds, I'm good. I can't tell if that was a spike or a dead person on the side of the road. And unfortunately, swoop bikes only have so many shifting gears. I don't even need to hit every single boost. Rundi hautonga ton kimba nan konkek. Wana kumbes chimpa yamui kunun kabi. Tuk men tanjo kunne muli rabes jibedu anani bobo. Tuk nabun sha nun yang muji tito aki jijaku. I'll be back later. Rundi hautonga ton kimba nan konkek. Wana kumbes chimpa yamui kunun kabi. Tuk men tanjo kunne muli rabes. Huh, why couldn't they make the most enjoyable minigame, the one that gives you the credits? Why do I have to be Pazak that gives you credits? Ugh. Anyway, now that we're actually on the pro circuit, hey Nico. You again? I don't really feel like talking right now. Well, I talked to Moda about you. You want to continue this discussion from earlier? I suppose you've got a right to know track business, but with the times you've been posting... Why don't you want to deal with Moda? It's not that I'm not grateful. I mean, it would get me into the pros. I don't have the credits to get in on my own. Not that I care about credits. I just want to race. But the deal with Moda is pretty bad. He'll get most of what I win. Well, I think you should just sign the contract he offered. Do you now? You might know a good deal, I guess. You sure know your way around the track. Considering my persuasion is absolute bonkers, you will sign the contract with Mata. Forcing the boy to sign his life away, is that really necessary? 
I... I'll sign the contract. Yeah, I guess that's best. Uh, I mean, the deal can't be all bad, right? I mean, you'd know, right? And all I want is to race. Who cares about the credits? Who cares? Thanks for making things clear. If you don't mind, I think we're done. Goodbye. Oh, wow. A little bit of dark side points. Not like it's going to affect me. <laughs> Very hard, very much at this point. I'll make him a back later. Well, let's talk about business with Nico. I talked to him. He's willing to sign. La bola na rinkis matona. Yinkin slim of Odona Mulera Chikun. No la runde hatunga kuunkabi. Jibedua nani bobo. Tunamun shanun yang. Muchi tito aki. Jijaku. I'll be fine. Good luck on your ventures. No, I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We depress your racers. Shut up. All right. Since I spent seven hundred fucking credits on this goddamn. My old print, serious. Runda di hotonga kun hunkabi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nuno dek. Tog ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ka chi kun ita hotonga. Ye king kuno ba mule rachi kun. Slimo podona runde hotonga kun hunkabe. Sure, why not? Skin away. I don't see any harm in it. Tolpa da pongwale canduna gu chup chut. Gava dum cu pilio botenia. Bonanai kuchu. Hawaga bosca chocola. Mucha jag panka. Takum jus dach miki grabal mogo. Kachi ita hotunga. Why do I got a feeling I did something very stupid? That's gonna come back and bite me in the ass, isn't it? Ugh. Anyway, to the hunting lodge. That's the Zerka office. Fuck off. That's it for now. Well, she wasn't lying. It did. It was worth 500 credits. Hey, Gamorians. Look got more patience. Go bother him. Okay, swine. Okay, Ganondorf. Warning. You'll pay attention to the master meatbag or suffer the consequences. <laughs> you know, Sharina Nall thinks you may have killed her husband. Ah, 
I'm inclined to believe her. You won't be able to escape justice, you know this? understand how pig noises is an alien language. That just puts things in a very weird perspective when you consider what humanity has done to swine. Huh, that's a very disturbing image to think of. That's not. Um... Ah, come cool, on, we might as well talk to you about crate Dragons. Ah, uh, Koopa, Che Koopa? Gino Mulera Kipaja Slimopo Duama? Information, if I could trouble such a worthy hunter for a moment. Muchashak Bakat Kiyeno no Nama Baule Rachikun. Well, who are you and what do you do? Takom Jus Dach Miki Grabber Mogo Kachi Ita Hodunga. Where is the best hunting? Jedo ba doan ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tong patukas magtale ya. Tolpa da pangwale kando na gugu chuchut. Kabadum ko pilio botenya. Bona na ikutu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shang panga. Jedo ba doan ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tong patukas magtale ya. So the dragons are rare. Are they dangerous? Ka chikun ida hodonga. Yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo podonar de hodonga ku kabe. Takom juz dach miki grabar mogo. Ka chi ida hodonga. Who uses battle droids? Jedo ba doana ni di bobo. Dong na bungsha nununya. Tong patukas magtalea, mucho siya pakat. Kiyeno no nama pa ole rachikun. Jedo ba doan ni... Yes, what will, what will you pay me not to get... <laughs> wow, you could just be a dick. That is just straight up being a dick. I have to go. Goodbye. Jedo ba doan ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya, tong patukas magtalea. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Well, that was interesting. Let's see. Hey, uh, now what do I do? Hey, Doros. Uba patu kochi, tong na bungsha nununya, tong bungsha nununya. I swear, Doros sound like that. It's jumbled up Chinese. Um, is there anything else I was going to do? Ah, oh, yes, I was going to head back into the Evan Hawk to, uh, swap some thing around regarding my lightsabers. And maybe kill some of the Gizka there, there too. Or maybe talk to HK. I'm not sure. And we got these little bastards running around. They don't actually do any harm, it's just they're on the ship. Ooh, excuse me. Lightsaber. Let's do that. Do this. Short lightsaber. Man, eh, let's get the crystal as red. Power crystal. Robot. And Bondar and our prime lightsaber. Sigil and the mid. And swap this out for this. Alright! Although the short lightsaber has a two-hand grip, 
Whatever. Uh, that's fully upgraded. What about you? You're fully upgraded. Okay. Range. Let's do that. Melee, we're good. All right. Our upgrades are good. Let's talk to HK for a bit. Uh, HK? Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Do you know anything about these Kizka, HK? Statement. I have little knowledge of that to impart, Master. Statement. Okay, do you... We have a little stowaway problem. Can you help? Statement. I cannot be of assistance on that, Master. You could be trying to translate, you... Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. My god. I would like to know more about your functionality. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. I thought you said removing your restraining bolt would restore your memory. Qualification. I suspected that it might, Master, but without memory, I had no way of knowing whether or not I knew that was true. So you lied to me? Qualification. Uh, not so much, Master. I spoke out of ignorance. I assumed the Athorian was responsible for my memory loss. That does not mean I am not a fully loyal droid willing to serve its master. Right, master? Are you damaged in some capacity? Answer. I believe I have been damaged several times in the past, master. I have always been repaired, but perhaps full functionality has not been restored. Is there some way we can actually repair you? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, master, but anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. So I can restore parts of your memory? Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at repair is required. The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core being reactivated, but I am unaware of any program existence to do so. Hint, hint. Main story progression will trigger HK's memory regardless of how far you fix them. So you're saying your memory might just come back? Conjecture. There may be hidden programming that awaits certain conditions to reactivate my memory core, Master. But there is no way to know. It is quite possible that tampering has simply erased my core permanently. If that is so, a meat bag will surely pay. So how do I go on about restoring part of your memory? Answer. Simply tell me that you wish to make the attempt, Master, and I will attempt to walk you through it. Please do be careful. This is why you put points in repair. Alright, I'd like to give it a try to restore some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Well, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. No! That is not it, Master! No! That is not it either! <sighs> that is a hinge, Master. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, me- I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. Very well, we'll try this again later. As you desire, Master. I cannot help but claim a small amount of relief. Signing off. Oh boy, what's my repair skill at? Set five. I probably need it to be ten or something. 
The deeper functions of HK-47's memory require some sort of stimulus in order to restore themselves, and HK-47 thinks it's unwise to tamper with this, but other parts of the core might be restored. It would simply take some more significant technical skill in order to do so. And we don't have the technical skill to do that just yet. Which sucks! Uh, there really is no problem with leaving the Gizka here on the ship. They're cute little buggers. But they may eat all the food. Oh, I don't want to kill them all. This is annoying. How can I help? Do you know if anything can be done about the Gizka on board? I wish I could help you with that. <laughs> you can physically lift them out of the ship with the force, Bastila. How do you not? You guys are st <laughs> What is wrong with you people? Come on. How can I help? You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Well, is it true that you actually killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. So, who killed Revan, then? Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So Malak did your job for you? As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Hmm, not killing your prisoners is a good thing. However, not killing them at all regardless of their crimes, well, that's a hot topic. Some people just don't deserve mercy. Anyway, I'm out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been no god 21 This is Millet by Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Next time, we're going to head on to the Dune Seas of Tatooine. Now that we can actually leave. And actually, we should either find Is Is before or while we're in the sea. Maybe kill some sand people, maybe kill some Gamorians, maybe even hunt a great dragon. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Maybe we'll run to fucking cat, get fucking cat, eh, that fucking bastard of a bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. But until then, thanks for watching our wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.